we follow true crime cases. So welcome to the dark and intriguing world of true crime, where the line between right and wrong blurs and captivating mysteries await us at every turn. We invite you to join us on a journey into the heart of darkness, where the pursuit of truth is both chilling, but necessary. This is Sunny Justice with It's a Criming Shame. Aspen Connor and myself deep dive into true crime cold cases. In this video, we are going to be talking about Nicola Bully story, but we're going to be talking about Emma White. Now, Emma White was a good friend to Nicola Bully that a lot of people got rubbed the wrong way with how she was acting. A lot of people thought that she was suspicious, that it was actually her that had left the house of Nicola Bully that morning. And a lot of people really just did not like her. Now, Emma White basically was gung-ho. She came out to be a voice for Nicola Bully and the interviewers were constantly interviewing with her as well as some other neighbors and friends and whatever. But mostly the face of Nicola Bully was in essence Emma White. Now, do you guys feel like possibly you were being too hard on Emma White? Does hindsight tell you that perhaps Emma White had nothing to do with the disappearance of Nicola Bully? Now, I can understand why some people got rubbed the wrong way with Emma White, you know. But, you know, there's sometimes in personalities, there's the people that are more passive and then there's the people that kind of stand out a bit more. And it's how they are portrayed or projecting themselves out there. So I'm going to show you a couple videos and in one of the videos, Emma White is talking about how she doesn't want to make a comment about how the police are handling Nicola Bully's investigation. And my little girls wrote the family a letter. Um, I can read a few words. Um, Harry, if you ever want to talk or go in the peace room, they go in the peace room at school. We're always there for you. We love you so much. Sophia, if you ever want any hugs, that's fine too. Poor Nikki's out there thinking you're the best husband in the world. Lulu, Nikki's sister, she's thinking you're the best sister in the world. And Willow, you're so, so cute. She's thinking you're the most amazing doggy owner and I really miss you. And that was from my daughter. So we are appealing today. As I said, it's a tough milestone today. Anybody with any information to help these guys, we just need something to it's not making sense we've got no information so please we're appealing to you today and hence why the community once again has come out in force today apparently the hair wasn't quite right from one of the little girls because that's not the way mummy does it and i think we've, we've touched the nation here haven't we she's a a daughter a mother a partner a sister a great friend and we just all want nikki back so if anybody has anything that they can give the police anything to share it. Okay, so after watching that footage, does anyone feel any differently? I would really like to know personally why so many people were against Emma White, you know? Now that the inquest and everything's over, and basically, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you guys, it truly, it is what it is, you know? There's nothing that's going to change that inquest answer unless somebody truly does come forward with different information at some point in time, if that's going to happen. But as for Emma White, was it the fact that you just simply didn't like her? But where is the proof of anything that Emma White had anything to do with Nicola Bully's disappearance? But even regardless, if you don't have proof, why did you specifically not like Emma White or why did you feel that she's involved in Nicola Bully's disappearance you know there was no proof ever that her and Paul were having any affair or anything like that or about the money you know 
So I'm just curious what your comments are with regards to that. But let's play that next video where she makes a comment that she's not going to make a comment about how the police are handling the investigation. I think of reflect on what's going on. Right, okay. Are you happy with the police investigation, the way it's going? Yes, to comment on. No, yeah. okay. Think of reflect on what's going on. Right, okay. Are you happy with the police investigation, the way it's going? to comment on no yeah. okay okay so when she's saying that if you read between the lines she's basically saying that i got no comment because probably if something's going to come out of my mouth it's not going to be good and we all know the saying that if you don't have something nice to say then don't say nothing at all and i think that's pretty much what emma white was doing there because we know that in some other interviews that Emma White has basically said, look, we just can't go on the fact that they keep talking about a hypothesis. We need some proof. We need to know more or look further than just the fact that she fell in the water there. Remember, I mean, it was three weeks until Nicola Bully was even found. And again, we know what the inquest had to say, but... If you had hindsight to look back on or just even reevaluating what your thoughts are with regards to Emma White. You see, I personally don't feel like Emma White had anything at all to do with Nicola Bully's disappearance. Now, can I understand how she rubbed people the wrong way because she became a voice? And kind of like Aspen Connor had said in another case with the Kylie Rodney case, her best friend or what her best friend claimed she was her best friend she kind of became out full force and a lot of people didn't like her either but again i'm just going to leave this up to you guys for this particular video what do you have against emma white what proof do you have against emma white that she had anything to do with nicola bully's disappearance okay speculation is speculation speculation is not facts so unless there's facts and you know then emma would be in jail right now if there was actual facts that she had anything to do with nicola bully's disappearance but we haven't seen any of that ever come to fruition so again i'm just gonna leave this up to the people that dislike emma white and to put your reasons in the comment in the comment section of this video because at the end of the day again I value your opinions, even if they differ from mine or ours here at the channel. It doesn't matter. You still have the right to have your opinion and have your thoughts with any case. It doesn't just have to be Nicola Bully's case. And I truly do hope that you guys do appreciate that style about the It's a Criming Shame channel. You know, if you keep it respectful, say your thoughts, say your opinions. We will always listen to them. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of channels out there that if you go against their opinions, you become a troll and you get blocked. So I want to thank you guys for, again, coming to the channel and then on our side of it saying, hey, you know what? Your opinions matter too. And in this particular video, it's about Emma White and how you guys feel. I will be doing a longer video in the near future with regards to the Nicola Bully case. And don't forget, you guys, we have the fall inquest as well. There's some information that I've been sent that I've been truly meaning to get um, into with regards to the Fitbit and stuff like that. And again, uh, with regards to the timeline. But anyways, I'm going to leave this video off as it is right now. Thank you guys for, of course, uh, following It's a Crimey Shame, watching the videos please make sure to give a like and a share. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much.